Welcome back and uh, today we are going to make the frets for uh, this guitar um, the first thing you have to do is search on internet in my case I'm going to use millimeters even if I'm in the United States and I know how to use inches millimeters uh, make more sense for what we're going to do here uh, the only issue is if you decide to use millimeters uh, you had to get uh, do the whole thing in millimeters you start in inches you had to do the whole thing in, in, in English you can switch one uh, for another it's not that easy uh, well maybe for you it's easy for me it's a nightmare but I started millimeters because there are uh, multiples of 10 and that make it easier for me um, uh, understand how, how how these work now the first thing you have to do is go to the web and search for fret position calculators this is the not the only one that is out there there are plenty of them uh, in my opinion this is one of the best these guys uh, sell parts and uh, electronics pickup materials stuff like that you can uh, check it out if you want <coughs> the website is stutmac.com uh, um, they have a fret uh, position calculator in my case the scale link in my guitar is going to be 26 inches what uh, transform to 660 uh, millimeters here, here in the bottom now how many frets I want I want 23 frets um, I know um, there are some bass guitar I have one bass guitar that have 24 uh, for bass guitar I think it's great for guitar I think so between 22 and 23 uh, it's more than good are using millimeters that's what I like this one they don't use uh, electric bass banjo mandolin whatever you want are uh, constructing making there is so you can cool like this now they give you the results and what I'm going to do is take a screenshot of this part here and use it in the in my drawing let's go back to the blueprints now I'm going to show you how I did this uh, first of all let's put here the photo of the image of the numbers in the in these documents okay I have the scales here uh, this is a screenshot uh, you can use any other software available in Windows or Mac to uh, get this screenshot here in the software Every, all the software basically are going to work the same um, in my case um, I'm going to use do this I'm going to make a line no and this is explain how I get to this point normally I give another color to the line like a red black uh, no black red orange blue something that you can see easier now I'm going to have 23 frets I'm going to copy this line 23 times copy one two three four five six now once you have it copied 23 times uh, see these two lines here oh, I don't know how many lines you're going to have but basically what you have to do is make it in the same make it all the lines get to the same place see I got only one line now in this software this line here in the paper is zero point what I mean what that means is whatever is in that point there is in the X axle or Y axle zero that means that's zero there these will be your zero okay now you guys see my scale here from the nut from the nut down from the nut down see the numbers start 
uh, going bigger and bigger what you're going to do is click one of those lines in the top and you're going to give the first number 37.43 0.043 hit enter and nothing happens what it did nothing happened undo whatever you did try again okay 37.04343 what's going on it's not working okay i found what happened um my scale in the image was in inches that means if i give it 34 uh, something is going to be 34 37 inches that was way too much now i fix this i change the scale to millimeters now this is you we go back this is your uh, zero line did you not and we go 37.043 there it is you have your first line here see and the second line you do the same thing click in the top where it's zero next number 72.07 there and you keep going until you finish all you nuts the only thing you have to be sure is that you have the right amount once you finish, just count the space to see if there are the amount of spaces that you want. That's basically how I did that. Uh, the reason I don't cut it, like uh, make it look good, is because this is my template. This is going to be my guy, my lines. It depends what I decide to do if i go to the cnc machine or i do it by hand whatever i decide to do this is my guideline this is going to be the place those lines are going to be unless i change the scale just to let you know the scale is between this knot here and the center of the bridge it's not in the corner, it's not, it, if you have an uh, incline uh, like this uh, bridge, no, it's in the center of the bridge. That means the center here to the center here. Straight line, in my case it's 26 inches, maybe in your case it's going to be a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but that's basically what you do. And that conclude the fret calculating uh, process that I'm using I think it's easy check out the software that you have or you draw with have that zero point uh, most of the um, software that work with lines and stuff like that and drawings have that one way or another check out how you can work with that this is uh, the easier, easier way, way that I have found to do it um, just try and see what what happened thank you very much have a good day